Hey you guys, it's Karen and I am here to do a review of this. This is the Current Body LED Neck and Deck Perfector. So, do you remember I did um, a whole review video on this one? This is the Current Body Face Mask and you may remember that I had some results with this on the fine lines around my eyes. They definitely improved. And I'm still using the face one. I'm using it every day and I have been using this every day for it's about five weeks now actually. This one was sent to me, just so you know. Um, but what I love about it, and when I agreed to have things sent to me, is that there was no requirement. It wasn't like, can we send you this and we would like you to do a video and mention this, this and this. There was none of that. They don't know that I'm gonna do a video. It was just sent to me to see if I like it and to see if I get any results because I'd had great results with the face one. I took a before picture and if you watched my recent skincare routine video, you'll have seen that before picture because I was talking about the fact that I had this little bit of crepey skin in the middle of my neck here and that when I put oil on it, it kind of disappeared, but it didn't disappear forever. It disappeared for like half an hour or an hour or so. So that was my before picture. That was before I started using this and I've now been using this for five weeks, like I said, and I took a picture a couple of days ago. When I took my after picture, I made sure that I didn't use any skincare at all. You know, I did it before I did my skincare for the day so that it was a true representation of how my skin has changed or could have changed. To be honest with you though, I didn't expect to see anything at the, I had intended to use it for a month, see what the pictures were like, and then I thought I'll probably end up using it another couple of months and do a before and after at three months because a lot of the reviews on YouTube are, you know, I've been using an LED light for one year, what are the results? Or six months, what are the results? But actually I knew that I had seen results at four weeks with the face mask, but I still thought that, because this is a different type of issue to me it was texture and I thought that that would take longer than a month but as you'll hopefully see from the pictures when I show you them there is a bit of difference I have seen some results with this already so let me tell you about this this is 375 pounds so not cheap by any means I'll see if I've got a discount code for you and if I have put it in the um, comments below in the description um, and you are to use this three to five times a week and it's 10 minutes per time so it's exactly the same as the face mask in that it's got a power pack on the end so this detaches and you you charge this up and then attach it and then just press the button let me show you it and then that's it on for 10 minutes so they recommend to use it three to five times a week, but I have been using it every day. So maybe that's why I've seen results sooner. I'm not sure, um, but I've used it every single day. I think there may have been one day I missed it. I know that I didn't do it in the morning and I couldn't, can't remember now if I did it in the evening. That's normally what I do. I do it in the morning. And if for whatever reason I don't have time, I'll just do it in the evening. So it goes around your neck like so. So there's just, you thread the little Velcro bit through. And I wanted to show you this on because it is not, tight whatsoever and then you just switch the button on you know you can move around it's not even as tight as a polar neck jumper you know you can have it tighter if you want if you wanted it right against your skin but I would find that too constricting so I've had it about like that but you can also use this another way there is another strap that comes with this and so what you could do is put it here and hang it like that around your neck so that would be or around your chest that would be if you didn't want to use it on your neck and it was more important to you to get more onto your chest you could just put it like that and like I said there's, there's another black thing that goes around like that so it's good that you've got those two choices there depending on where your main issues are let me just read to you what it says on their website about this it says it's an anti-aging device for the neck and decolletage that combines red light and infrared light technology so when i talked about the face mask i talked about how the infrared plus red light technology is the best technology um, from what the evidence tells us for aging and so it's the exact same technology in this neck mask um, improves the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which I did find from the face mask, evens out skin tone and texture. It says 95% of users said their skin tone, texture, firmness, and tightness was improved. And it's clinically proven to reduce wrinkles by 35% in four weeks. So in my other video on the face mask, I really dig a bit deeper into the claims that they've made here. And I talk about the specific research research studies behind this kind of technology for um for aging for fine lines etc etc um so i'll link that video in case you want to know more about that basically there is evidence that it works on aging skin i have also found that it worked on my aging skin and other people have found that it works for them as well so um technology wise i'm quite happy with it 
it's very comfortable to wear like i said i've been wearing it along with the face mask so i wear the two together and i will put the power bank just in my pocket i've normally got joggers on and i'll just stick them in my pocket and wander around or i'll just sit and look at my phone or make notes for youtube or watch tv it's it's so portable you know you can use it any way you want and like i said it does fit perfectly on with the face mask so you can use them both together you may remember somebody asked me this if um that I mentioned I put this around my neck so people have been asking can you use the face one around your neck well you can um, in theory but it doesn't fit very well you can see that this is what I used to do when I say I used to do I only did it a couple of times because it just wasn't comfortable you have to do that and you can either just sit there and hold it with your neck like that or you can try and put it round, but it sort of crinkles up they've got the two holes for the eyes so you're not getting the full direct impact so it's just not very practical which is why I only did it a couple of times um, so whereas this one obviously fits fits perfectly against it I would say this is for you if you have fine lines on your chest that's something I've actually got quite a smooth chest so I'm lucky this is not an area I'm working on but for me I I've got these lines here but these lines are genetic so I've always had lines in my neck since I was a teenager but I think they've actually got deeper obviously as I've got older and also as I've put weight on um, and then the biggest thing for me was this bit of, of crepiness in the middle and it doesn't seem like much because it wasn't obvious to everybody but my concern was that it was there and that it would just continue to get worse and that it would you know grow and end up all over my my chest so that's the bit that I was specifically looking at um, and any improvement in these lines would be great but I think if you've got fine lines on your chest and whatnot this would be really good for it so let me show you my before and after pictures hopefully you can see there what I can see which is that the crepiness has gone in the second picture and I made sure in the second picture that I didn't put any moisturizers or oils or anything on because like I said that can temporary, temporarily make it look as if it's gone away so I took the picture before I did my skincare routine for the day and I really do see a difference now I had already seen that difference in the mirror I can't exactly say when I noticed it but I did just look and, and think oh I don't seem to have that crepey bit of skin anymore um, it may be because I was using this every day and they recommend to use it three to five times a week maybe that's why it worked so so quickly for me um, or maybe because that was sort of in such early stages if you like um, but yeah I definitely think there's an improve, improved appearance there I think that overall the lines look a lot softer um, I think that it does look as if one of the lines has got a lot better but that I think is just the angle of my neck I try to keep my neck at the exact same angle but without having a specific chin rest which actually I have asked my husband to make me it's not really possible to know exactly what angle you had your neck at but I think that that's there is a little bit of a contributor there um, but it, I think that overall the lines even the two lines in the middle of my neck which aren't affected um, you know they look the same whether my neck is like that or like that I think they look much softer and that's something else that I'm noticing in the mirror I've also noticed that my self tan seems to be a bit more even because I've always had the issue well, not always but for the last few years I've had the issue of the, the lines actually looking white when I've put a self tan on you know it's, it's almost like they because they're so deep you know it the, it doesn't hold on to the tan I suppose with me moving my neck but it's been a lot more even the last few weeks that I've been using myself tanner that's everything to tell you from the photos hopefully you can see what I see sometimes you can see extra things that I can't but um I haven't done a close-up of my chest because like I said actually I think my, my chest is pretty um wrinkle free I am starting to get wrinkles here like on the outside bit so I'm pretty sure you know that at some point it, they will all be down here but luckily at the moment it, it isn't affecting that area there's maybe a little bit of um, pigmentation but that's all uh, so I'm really happy with it I think it's really comfortable I think it is a lot of money and like I said I'll see if I can get a discount code but if it, it depends on how much something bothers you if you're somebody that this area really really bothers you then it's worth the investment you know because it is this isn't just a gimmick it is something that is proven technology um and it's easy to do it's easy and can fit in with whatever you're doing you don't have to stop and do something I think that's what I love about it I'm somebody that likes to always be on the go and I don't like to have to stop for something 
and you can just put this on and carry on with whatever you're doing. I haven't tested out the, the pigmentation, obviously. I know that some people have an issue with pigmentation, um, so I haven't been able to test that aspect of it. So it's really just the texture and the fine lines that I've tested it for, um, and also the lifting. I think if it was given, gonna give any lift, it would be from, this is um, reported to help with collagen synth synthesis, but that's not something I've tested either. And I imagine that would take a lot longer. That would probably be three to four months and you may then get a little bit of tightening from that firmness and tightening but that is what um users reported getting so i would love to know what your thoughts are because i know that some of you already went for this versus the mask some of you went for the mask let me know what you think what results you've had i have seen that some of you are already seeing differences which is really good because you know i'm always nervous if i'm recommending something that's expensive and i'm like what if they don't get the same results as me but there's not many things i get really excited about and and believe the hype but with this one there's evidence behind it and it's worked for me so i'm quite happy to say you know i think that this is a good buy so that's everything i'll tell you what i've got on makeup wise i have got on in fact let me first tell you about my hair this was very unplanned i went for a trim and this is what i've ended up with and i don't like it at all and i think i don't know what i don't like about it just probably that it's too short so it'll take me a minute to get used to it I should have gone to my usual hairdresser, but she doesn't have any appointments because they're, they're catching up on appointments from lockdown. So, and even my usual hairdresser, the last cut I had with her, I didn't like, and she's hugely expensive. So my own fault for going to a different hairdresser, but I had kind of intended to anyway, if that makes sense. Um, and I, I think I just need to get used to this. I don't know. I might try and trim it. Like I would prefer it if it came up a bit like that, you know, if it wasn't so... I don't know. I'm just so fussy with my hair. Anyway, that's what's going on there. Um, makeup wise, I've got on the Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation in light 016. On my eyes, I used the Natasha Denona. It's a little quintet palette. Um, I'll put details down in the description. And then on my lips is the Steely Liquid Lipstick in Caramello. And on my cheeks is the Elf Blush in Always Preppy. It's the one that's the kind of primer infused blush. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.